Alrighty, so now we're getting down to the nuts and bolts and you've heard me talk about this briefly in our previous lesson. Before you start with printmaking, you've got to make sure you've got all your gear organised. So obviously my plates are hiding somewhere over here on the bench, which I'll grab in a sec. But I need to make sure I've got all of this stuff to begin with. Now there's a lot of you, and I mentioned last time that we had a prac lesson to make sure that you set up your own space. Okay, it doesn't mean that you can't actually work with somebody else on your table, but you need to make sure you're working so that you can keep clean. You need to make sure that your hands and your arms are clean. So don't wear blazers, don't wear long sleeve shirt. <coughs> if you have a long sleeve shirt on like I've done, you need to roll up your sleeves. You must put on gloves and you get one set of gloves every lesson. Now, I've got a nice clean glove here, but um, I've got pockets. And whenever I dig into my pockets, I've got old gloves. So I'm just gonna use some old ones because I don't need new fresh ones. See how it's inside out? Mm -hmm. All I need to do is just do this. Put it back the way it should be. Flick it out a bit and capture it full of air. Don't blow into it with your, um, with your mouth because you put um, humidity into it and the humidity makes it hard for you to get the gloves on. Now, the ink will come off your hands, won't come off your clothes, it will come off your hands with soap. It won't come off with just water because it has a soy-based, it is a soy-based product soybean so it makes it a bit oily and so it makes it waterproof uh, if you've got a watch on like I have make sure you get your glove over the top so gloves absolutely essential don't think oh I'm too lazy I don't like working with gloves on it's a safety precaution although we're using non-toxic um, inks it just is better for you not to be walking around with grotty fingernails full of ink that just won't come out. The next thing that you need to have are the Q-tips and these little ice cream container lid, uh, ice cream paddle sticks, whatever they are, magnum sticks, they have been washed, although they're stained. They're used for mixing new colors in these little um, containers. So they're here also on the trolley for you. The tarlatan, that's what this stuff is called, needs to be kept in a really organised way. We've also got small bits of cardboard which you can use instead of the small bits of tarlatan if you wish and I will show you both demonstrations how to use it. You just basically scridge up the tarlatan into a small sort of dabbing point and then you can take the ink and rub it on with it and you'll see me do it in a moment. This tarlatan was used by me last Tuesday and I picked it up and it's still wet. So if you've got ink in your books, you'll probably find that they're still wet. Um, you will get dirty. That's why I always put on an apron and my apron also allows me to wipe my hands somewhere else. Those aprons are not um, going to soak anything up because they're plastic. Over here, we have the um, wiping off cloths which is also tarlatan and it's important that you don't mix the colors so you can see that this one's got a brownie rusty color on it and this one's got a gray don't put a rusty color on this one if there's this one that's got a rusty color on it now remember that you're all going to be working in different parts of the classroom so this is a group effort you have to be patient with one another um, the other thing you're going to have to be aware of is at the moment there's only this one press. There is another press in the other room. I haven't trialled it yet. I might go and grab it after we've done the demo and give it a spin and see what it's like. Um, and if we've got two going then you'll be able to get through stuff fast. So I'm going to ink up first but if I start inking up and I haven't prepped my paper then I'll get to a point where I go, oh my goodness, I haven't done my paper. So I've got to take off at least one glove and the paper. So there's a whole stack of paper and it's really important that you never ever put your hand into the box of paper if your hand is dirty. 
Because once you get in on this, where the ink's not supposed to go, you've ruined your print. With um, etching, and any form of printmaking, if you do it professionally, I'll just stick this one in front of the camera, the most important areas, besides where you're contacting the, uh, the piece of paper with your plate, is you need to actually demonstrate that you are efficient at printmaking by keeping the perimeters or the areas around the plate clean. So if you ever look at any professional printmakers, they never have dirty paper. Now you can see here, and I've done this deliberately, and I hope the camera picks it up, there's a little smudge there from a dirty fingerprint. Now if that was a professional print, then I wouldn't be able to use it. But since it's just for the demo, I've deliberately done it to see what you're not supposed to do. Okay, so you must keep the paper perfectly clean, so never go near it with dirty hands. When you put an easel here, you need to completely submerge it so it goes under the water, so it's completely under. Now you can put multiple pieces of paper in here, you just keep putting them in and making sure that they are completely submerged. So don't think that you have to wait for the person in front of you to finish before you actually can put your work inside or the, water, the paper inside. So that's nicely percolating over there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this. So I need to put my gloves back on.